Hey YouTube family, sorry it's been so long since I checked in. Um, a couple of things happened. One, I didn't have too much to show you, and I've been doing rehab with my hand. Um, and now that it's working enough, I can get to working. Uh, another thing is I didn't want to do any sewing projects till I had my new machine. I got it this last weekend. I'll show it to you in a second. It's a Husqvarna Viking Eden Rose 250C limited edition. All that fancy talk just means it's better than what I had before and can do some basic embroidery as well. Uh, as my first project, this is what I chose to make. It's just a sewing cover because I didn't like what it came with. Plus it looks all cute while it sits out in my room all the time. Um, there's the machine looking all spiffy and it's all cute and girly and stuff. Um, first thing I did when I got my machine is I read my manual. Um, most important thing you could possibly do is read your manual. It'll save you a little bit of headache later and it's important just to familiarize your, yourself with the machine before you even turn it on. Uh, so basically what I did when I made the sewing cover is I measured from the top to the back, added about an inch, inch and a half uh, for seam allowance, and then I measured the sides. I made mine fitted, so instead of making perfect rectangular sides that are the width of the bottom of the machine, I measured the top and the bottom. They are different sizes, um, and they're actually different from left side to right side as well. Uh, and it makes a general trapezoid shape. Both sides are trapezoids, just they're different shapes. Um, and here's a video showing you how exactly I did that. Okay, so what I did was I measured the top of my machine and then subtracted that from the width of my fabric and divided by two. So that left me uh, one and three quarters inches. So I take that off of both sides, and that's the top, of, the width of the top of my machine. And you can double check that. And then on the bottom, I just did the exact same thing, width of the bottom of my machine. And now all I'm going to do is draw a line to connect the two. I'm just freehanding and eyeballing it. You can use a straight edge if you want. When you pin the fabric together, it kind of will create its own straight edge. So I'm not too concerned. Um, and that's how you get the side of your sewing machine cover. Okay, so for this part, I put on the cover upside down um, so you could see what I'm talking about. I measured from here to here after sewing on one end and marked it with my um, marking pencil. It's pretty much chalk. And then I measured from the bottom to the, to the top corner and took that length and, and then marked it right about there. You can see a small mark right here. And then I measured the width of my machine at that end from that point to the other side, marked that as well. And then what was left hanging off the side, I cut out that square. And um, from there I pinned my uh, other end that I had already cut out and sewed it. This is just a quick little video of me sewing on my machine. I'm still getting used to it, so I'm not completely familiar with it. I'm just testing out uh, how much pressure to get the right amount of speed for my sewing and um, remembering to try to keep my seams even uh, as well. Um, at the end of this, I do clip my corner so that it fits properly as well as check to make sure that it does fit uh, how I want it to on the machine and that I don't need to go and rip seems to start over. Uh, Alright, so I finished my project. It looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. It's right here. I will pull it off and show you in just a second here. I went ahead and added a couple of things that I felt I needed for no apparent reason. I put a handle <laughs> I put a handle on it. Um, it's basically self-made bias tape. It's just a selvage that I folded, pressed out, uh, sewed two stitches at even intervals from the edge, which may or may not mean that it's even in between them, but I'm not being perfect on this one. 
Um, and then I just did a square stitch, which means I stitched, left in uh, my needle, turn the fabric, stitch, follow for all corners. Did the same thing on the other side. Um, I didn't measure where I put this. I just had I slipped the cover on once I was done, and using my marking pencil. I just put it on there where I thought I wanted it to go, marked the edges, and marked the front corner so I could line it back up when I uh, sewed it on the machine. Didn't do any pinning, nothing too fancy. Um, since I was messing around with what my mach new machine can and can't do, I added on a little bit of embroidery. It was really, really cool to watch. This machine is awesome, and I'm sure I can use it in a lot of awesome ways. But for now, sewing machine cover. Um, not all my seams are finished, but the edge hemline is. The inside ones are not. I just didn't feel like it. It's just to sit here and protect my sewing machine from getting dusty and try it out before I go making any cosplays. So um, here's what it is. I will include a link below that will have some pictures of steps along the way. And if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I can tell you that I am absolutely in love with my machine. Totally thought I broke it a few times, but um, I didn't. <laughs> and I'm ready to start sewing more projects and get ready to start all the cosplays I've got planned. I should have something later for you this week. Bye.